Hi, and welcome to the F5 presentation of implementing your data center firewall. My name is Josh Michaels from devcentral.f5.com, and I'm going to be taking you through the steps here. On your screen, we have a 11.1.0 Hotfix 1 virtual edition running off of our VMware cluster here. Obviously, to get anything done, we got to log in first. So the first thing you want to do with the box is, of course, secure the unit itself. So what we're going to do is jump into our system platform, make sure our initial configuration is everything that we want it to be. Here we've got the management port, the host name set, and down towards the bottom you'll see user administration where you have your root account and your admin account. Below that you'll see SSH access. Once you're satisfied with the platform configuration, next we want to configure the security settings for the administrative logins. We do that under system preferences, changing the system settings to advanced, and determining what we want for an idle timeout before automatic logout and also setting our banner. Recommendation for an idle timeout is 120 seconds, so two minutes. After we've modified the idle timeout, we'll want to work on the security banner for the login page. For our use here, we're simply going to say go away and you can also modify the username and password prompts. We hit update and that will apply. Next, we'll want to work on configuring a password policy for the administrative users. That's done under System, Users, Authentication. Once here, we'll want to turn on Secure Password Enforcement, which will give us another plethora of options, where we'll set the minimum length of characters for the password, set this based upon your infrastructure security requirements, then you set up your password complexity requirements, password memory, the minimum and maximum duration, how many days before expiration they get warning of expiration, and then maximum logon failures. We're going to change that here to a maximum of 10. Maximum logon failures, if I exceed that amount, will lock the account out of the system. And there we have it. And lastly, we want to work on configuring a security level for the self-IPs on the big IP. To do that, we go to Network, Self-IPs, and I can see that we have a self-IP here named Self1 click into that self IP. The setting that we're looking at is port lockdown, which is currently set to allow all. We want to change this over to allow none to ensure that no administrative traffic is coming in or out on this address. We'll hit update here. And there we go. We've configured our big IP for a secure administrative setting. And now we're ready to move on to the rest of our data center firewall deployment. Thanks for joining me, and if you have any further questions, feel free to look me up on Dev Central, username Josh M. Thanks, and have a great day.